Hey what's going on guys welcome to your 10th Python 3 tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about while loops. So then in the last tutorial I showed you how we could use for loops to loop through some kind of data and do something with each element within that data. Now in this video I want to show you a different kind of loop which is called a while loop. So let's get rid of all this junk first of all. And a while loop basically allows us to cycle through a certain portion of code while a specific condition is true. So I'm going to create a couple of variables first of all, and then we'll come back to the while loop. So first of all, age, I'm going to set equal to 25, and I'll explain these in a minute, and num equal to zero. Now we want to create this while loop now. So how do we do that? Well, we use the keyword while, and then we put our expression here. What are we evaluating? Now I'm going to check whether num is less than age. And for as long as this condition right here is true, this while loop is going to cycle through or loop through a block of code, which is going to be down here. OK, so this is a while loop. We have the while keyword, then the condition we're checking. If the condition is true, it's going to cycle through this code for as long as this condition is true. Now, right now, if I put a statement here like print num, we're going to get caught in what is known as an infinite loop, which means basically this loop is going to keep on cycling around and never break out because this is always true, right? Num is always less than 25, so it's going to keep on going round, keep on going round until eventually num is greater than 25, which is never going to happen. I'll demonstrate this. Let me save it and say python loops.py and you're going to see this zero output loads and loads and loads of times and potentially, depending on your code, this could crash your computer right so what i'm going to do is control c out of this first of all i'm going to break out of that manually and clear the console so what do we need to do in order for this not to be a continuous loop well what we want to do is change num each time around we go through this loop so we can say something like num plus equals one and now what that's going to do is each time around this loop it's going to add one to the number so when number eventually gets to 26, after we've gone through this loop 25 times, it's going to be larger than age. Therefore, this condition here is no longer going to be true, and this loop is not going to continue anymore. So let's check that. If we, again, say python loops.py, we can see all of these numbers are output up to 24. But as soon as num reaches 25, it is no longer less than age. Therefore, we don't continue through this loop and therefore we're not printing anything else out. So that's the basics of what a while loop does. OK, so say, for example, we only want to print out even numbers. Well, we could nest if statements in here to check whether that's an even number. So what I'll do, first of all, is say if num and then I'm going to use the modulus two. So what I'm saying is if the number divided by two gives us no remainder, I'm going to say is equal to zero, then I want to print out the number because if you divide a number by two and it's got no remainder, then it has to be an even number, right? So then we'll print out the number and we're just going to indent this print statement right here. We're not going to indent this because we want to increase num every time around, not just if this condition is true. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to run it again. And this time we should only get even numbers. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, etc. Cool. So we can do things like this in a while loop. So we could execute code just on portions of a certain collection if we wanted to. Um, so we can also break out of while loops manually using the break keyword. For example, if we don't want to print anything over 10, we could say something like this. We could say if, we'll do another if statement right here. If num is greater than 10, then what we're going to do is break. And in fact, we want this to be over here, not nested, like so. And if we save that now and run it again, then we should only go up to 10, which is cool because we're breaking right here when this condition is true. Now, also, I don't want to output this zero, right? So what I could do is say, well, if the num is zero, don't output it. So I'll come down here and I'll say if num is equal to zero, then what do we want to do? Well, we don't want to break because if we break, then nothing else is going to run. It's going to break out of the loop and nothing is going to print at all. And I can show you that. We can see nothing prints at all because we're breaking out of it from the offset at zero. So instead, what we can do is use another keyword called continue. 
And what continue does is say, well, okay, what I want you to do is continue through the loop, but I want you to stop here for this particular iteration. So for zero, we're not going any further. What we're doing is we're just continuing through the loop up here and going again. But again, what I need to do is add one to none, because if I just go to continue, again, we're gonna get caught in an infinite loop because if num equals zero, we're saying continue, go back to the top again, and we're not changing num, so num is always gonna equal zero, right? So let me demonstrate this, I'll save it, run it again. And although you can't really see anything printing out, it is caught in an infinite loop because it's not ended, we've still got this blinking cursor, right? And that's because we're not printing anything over here, but it's still cycling through. I'm gonna cancel out of this process, and then what I'm going to do is add one here. So I'm going to say num plus equals to one. So if it's zero, then we add one to it. Then we continue back to the top of the loop to run through again. So if we save this now, we should get what we saw up here, but without the zero. So let's try it. And we do two, four, six, eight, ten. Cool. So there we go, my friends. That is a while loop and how we can use a while loop to cycle through data dependent on a certain condition.